Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy G The Narrow, and we're back with another video. Another update on the Dodge Charger RT, man. Just got my 8 inch radio screen in the uh, mail, and it's about that time. I gotta do some interior upgrades, gotta do some enjoyability things so I can enjoy driving this shit box, you know? <laughs> but yeah, like I said, man. Shout out to this dude, Jesse. He got me right in the 11 to 14 Dodge Charger forums on Facebook. If you need an eight inch radio upgrade, man, hit him up. But anyways, we're gonna get right into this. Um, basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to swap out the four inch screen to the eight inch. I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm going in blind myself, so me and you are both learning. So let's get right into it. Might this. be hard to see because it's a little dark in my garage, but eight inch bezel. Mind you guys, I have a pursuit. So my dash has the column shifter. I'm gonna need to trim a small piece off here so the column shifter could correctly, you know, go in the park or else it won't be able to go all the way up. At least I don't think so. I'm just assuming that because my bezel has a cut right there. So that's probably gonna be the hardest part of this process is cutting that. So the start off, you got to get the dash bezel out. And by doing that, you could use either a plastic pry tool, which is better. Or if you're cheap like me, you could use a homemade DIY tool, a.k.a. a butter knife. Basically, what you're going to do is go back here. Just start prying this thing out, man. You know, I got an expert suit, so this whole dash is messed up. I don't even have a chrome bezel on my left vent. It got lost. Matter of fact, when I got the car, my whole vent was tore apart. It was just hanging. It wasn't even in the slot. So there's another pro getting an ice police car. Whole lot of interior mods. Not good ones. All right. So we got the dash bezel out. Now, with the four inch radio behind it, ooh. It's pretty nasty. There's gonna be a wire holding it in. You don't wanna pull too hard before that wire's out. So, you're gonna reach back and pull that wire out. I can't get it on camera, but I'm about to disconnect. All right, so three wires were connecting the radio. This was the hardest one to get out, man. I basically had to use a, uh, a butter knife to help push against it. But, um. This is the old bezel, as you guys see. Oh, what up, Jim? As you guys see, this is a pursuit. So there's a cut here where the column shifter goes. And over here is the eight inch screen bezel. And as you see on this one, there's no cut here for the column shifter. So I'm gonna have to make one. I'm not gonna use the saw, don't mind that. I'm gonna have to use like a jigsaw to cut that properly but uh yeah that's the next step so i'll be back once i do all that. right guys so once you get the radio out and you get the three wires disconnected if you're also swapping to radios with things like cyrus fm and navigation you're gonna have to swap your receiver i think you might have to swap your receiver with the radio anytime i'm not positive i think some are compatible with the eight inch screens but all I know is my inch radio uh, has navigation, so it came with a new receiver. So the next step is swapping this out as well. And to do that, for me, I have a pursuit. So all I had was this um, this blank tray panel, which I just used the butter knife to pop up. Then you pull this out, and then this just has four clips holding it in, and you just yank it out. And there's the wire from the screen that's connecting, ran through. You're just going to get that out the way. And there's four Phillips screws that hold in the receiver. One, two, well, it's dusty as hell in this car, man. Three, four. So you're just gonna use a Phillips screwdriver, gonna get that thing out, don't lose the screws, and you're gonna put the new one in. So I got the four Phillips screwdrivers out, and now uh, this should just pop out. All right, and now we got the receiver fully out and the screen fully out, so we're gonna get the receiver in there. Then I'm gonna go trim the dash bezel so this column shifter could go in the park properly. Then we're gonna get the screen in, put the bezel in, and we're gonna be good to go. 
Yo, so holy shit, two hours later, we finally got my bezel cut so the column shifter could correctly go up into park because, like I said, the pursuits come with the column shifter and the dash bezel already has a cut for it, but in the eight inch screen bezels, they don't have a cut for the pursuit column because you have the, uh, the center console shifter instead on the regular models. So I had to cut that. I'll show you guys, it's really ghetto rig, but I'm just glad I got it cut, man. So I can put this damn radio in and finish this because I've been at this for a couple so hours. So as you guys could see, it's not the prettiest but I'll be damned, it works. Put a side-by-side -side comparison, four inch screen, the eight inch screen bezel. As you see, putting this right over, it does fit. So let's pop this damn screen in, man. I already got the receiver in. And then I'll put the security code in and I'll be good to also, go. Also, forgot to mention on the four inch bezel, the radio, at least on its 11 to 14 charger models, the radio is screwed onto the dash bezel. So we're gonna reuse these Phillips screws. There's four of them. And we're gonna use that for the eight inch screen onto the eight inch bezel. So we're gonna screw this thing right now. All right, so just took the screws out of the four inch radio, put them onto the eight inch radio. So the screen's now into the eight inch bezel. So the next step is just putting this thing in the car. Let's get it. All right, so I just got the eight inch screen in, man. Uh, the guy that I purchased this from is sending the security code. I had to send him a picture of the back of the radio so he could match the VIN. But that's the full install. Finally got the eight inch radio in my charger, man. I love it. I'm so excited to get to use this thing. I'm gonna uh, finish the video with a clip of you guys showing the radio on once I get the security code. But this is it, man. Finally got the radio installed. Gotta say, it makes a world difference just on the looks itself. And as you guys can see, the way I cut the bezel <laughs> isn't the cleanest. But you know, in the future maybe I'll button it up, but it honestly isn't a big deal to me. I squared it off decently, honestly. Uh, it doesn't look the prettiest, but all I care about is getting the eight inch radio in, man. Glad with how it came out. All right guys, so I'm back and I just got the SRT side skirts on the car and I got the radio fully installed. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works. And yeah, this is the after with the car. Full SRT body kit conversion. I took the black stripes off the side of the car cause I wanted a clean white look for what I'm planning to do in the future. Not gonna really disclose what I'm doing yet, but you guys will see, stay tuned. She's looking really pretty right now though. Just drove her back from Detroit. Drove great. No issues with it. Front bumper done. I got the middle wrap black. Got my little lip on. SRT OEM factory rims painted black. They're filthy right now, so excuse that. I will be putting some Brembo brakes on soon, but I need to swap the spindle when I do that, and that's gonna be a little pricey. So I'm holding off for now. SRT side skirts put on. I still need the paint touched up, but overall, she's looking a lot better than when I got it. Back bumper, the fuser painted black. As I showed in the SRT body kit conversion video on my last video, if you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. But now we got the full kit done with these side skirts on, man. And it gave it the car like a whole new swag. <laughs> if we're being real, like this thing looks mean. Now I gotta show you guys the radio, of course, cause I promised to show that. Also, I forgot to mention, I got black leather seats installed. 
I put those in with the guy I bought them from. Shout out to him, man. He helped install them. Dude put Hellcat seats in his car. Got my Diablo tuning. New dash. New 8-inch radio, as you guys see. Everything on it works. I got to install the, uh, the navigation antenna. And I got to plug that into the receiver when I get that. But I haven't installed it, so my map doesn't have any signal yet. All I gotta do is put that uh, antenna in, which costs like 50 bucks online, or from the Dodge dealership, but I've been lazy, I haven't got to it. But I'm gonna get that installed so the GPS works, and that's it, radio's done. I'm gonna end up painting my dash bezel, not sure what color yet. I gotta get a new steering wheel, looking for an SRT steering wheel, that's what I'm planning on put it in, maybe a custom one. I'm gonna get, get uh, new floor mats because these are filthy, obviously. But I'll show you guys the back. Excuse my jacket. But I got the leather seats in the back as well with the factory center console. So this is one mean looking pursuit. You can't really tell it was a cop car anymore, except for the column shifter. Shit. Get that out the way. You guys can see how the leather seats look. Compared to when I had black cloth seats, I think that looks 10 times better. Along with the eight inch radio. I still gotta paint these white because I had filled the holes from the police equipment. But that'll get painted as well as the side doors because they need to get repainted. That's the car though. New radio. Everything on it works great. Shout out to the guy who sold me it on the 11 to 14 Charger Farms on Facebook. I think his name is Jesse something. Jesse with the F for the second name, but shout out to dude, man. Got my car feeling and looking right. SRT cam done, SRT body kit done. It is a 5.7, so like I said, I got the RT badges. Even though it's technically a pursuit model, I know, but I'm considering it a RT clone since I'm converting basically everything to civilian. Eventually I'll do a shifter column. Well, uh, probably, I don't know, cause I kinda like the column shifter. I just don't like the look, but I like where it's at. It's more convenient when you drive. And this is my engine bay, it's filthy. But I'm gonna get the car fully detailed soon. So don't mind how filthy it is right now. But that is it, my 2012 Dodge Charger RT slash Pursuit, fully converted to a SRT body kit, got RT leather seats, the eight inch radio, SRT cam, custom dyno tune from BFNY Performance on Detroit and Cleveland, Ohio. Did a great job on the tune, but the car runs great. Sounds great. I will be getting headers. Been saying that for the longest, but it needs them headers going catless oh it is lowered on h and r springs i believe i've said that in my previous videos but aside for that that's really all it's done to the car full srt body kit i'm gonna begin a new hood new headlights new fog lights because they're not wired yet but they will be and eventually new rims but these are gonna have to do for now because i got them for the low and i'm a cheapskate so you know that's how I roll. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment suggesting other videos you would like to see with me and my car, or even unrelated videos to the car. You know, any type of content, just give me ideas on what to upload. I don't mind. I'm open to new stuff. But that's it for today's video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace.